another mass shooting. You know they're happening so often in this country, we can all barely keep up, and that is so not good. Yesterday, we told you six dead in Texas. Today, it's three people gunned down at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas. One other person was wounded in an attack carried out near the university's business school. These images are all too familiar. The students evacuating with their hands up, just terrified. The gun violence archive says, we are up to more than 630 mass shootings this year. And listen to this, that is a new record. Omar Villafranca is in Las Vegas with the latest on this particular shooting. Omar, good morning to you. Good morning. Our CBS affiliate here in Las Vegas has identified the shooter as Tony Polito, a man in his 60s. But we do not know the names of the three victims. Now, UNLV's campus, with its 30,000 students, faculty, and staff, will remain closed for the rest of the week as the community copes with another mass shooting. Just before noon on Wednesday, the sounds of gunshots on the campus of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, triggered an all too familiar active shooter response. We have more patients inside with an active shooter. Copy, so we're reporting an actual active shooter at this point, correct? That's affirmative. Cops are going in right now. Sources tell CBS News the shooter was a former college professor in his 60s. Police say he opened fire on the fourth floor of the business school building. Went to multiple floors and the suspect was neutralized on the outside uh, by the UNLV police department. I was crying. <laughs> First year student Riley Adams took this video as she and her fellow classmates were escorted out of their barricaded classroom, where she walked past a door apparently shattered by gunfire. Jesus Christ. Is anyone hurt? I texted both my parents kind of a goodbye, almost like, I love you guys. Um, if anything happens to me, like, just know I'll, I'll always love you. While authorities are being praised for their swift response, the community is stunned. It's time for us, as the adults, enough. It is enough. Hours later, students were still trying to process what happened. It's just crazy knowing that like you go from a college classroom to all of a sudden barricading yourself in it and not learning and trying to fend for your life. It's just sad because now it's like a factor like, oh, it's another shooting. Like that's pretty much how people look at it. We are about two miles away from the 2017 mass shooting that happened here in Las Vegas at the Country Music Festival, which is America's deadliest mass shooting. And the sheriff says that the drilling that they did after that massacre led to the coordinated effort that we saw yesterday. Now here for the students at UNLV, uh, the final exams were set to begin next week, but all of that has been put on pause. Nate. Omar, thank you so much. I just hope we all resist the urge to become callous. This is not normal, even though it's routine here in America.